Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Congress attacks Modi government over predator drone deal. Sri Lanka sees $17 billion debt restructuring in five years. And thousands pack onto ferries and trains in Bangladesh to travel home for Eid. And now for all the details. India's main opposition Congress on Tuesday attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government over the acquisition of MQ-9 Predator drones from the US, demanding transparency over the multi-million dollars defence deal. Congress spokesperson Pawan Khera questioned that despite sizable investments in indigenous projects by the DRDO, why drones of outdated technology are being purchased by the government. Khera said by paying more than four times the price for the armed drones, government is trying to repeat what happened in the Rafale aircraft deal. The Rafale deal was now being bought in the Predator drones. The drone that the other countries bought in the other countries, we bought the same price. उसी ड्रोन को हम 110 मिलियन डॉलर यानी कि 880 करोड़ प्रति ड्रोन 880 करोड़ पर ड्रोन हम खर्च कर रहे हैं तो सत्रह करोड़ आपने दिया डीआरडीओ को और फिर 25,000 करोड़ अमेरिका से में जाकर दिया है कि भाई हमें ड्रोन्स दे दो तो या तो ये सत्रह करोड़ आपने गलत दिया और या फिर वो 25,000 करोड़ आपने गलत दिया दोनों तो सही हो नहीं सकते अर्लियर इंडिया डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री हैड कॉल्ड दी स्पेक्यूलेशन ओवर द डील ऑन सोशल मीडिया एज अनकॉल्ड फॉर एंड विद अल्टीरियर मोटिव टू डिरेल द एक्विजिशन प्रोसेस द मिनिस्ट्री सेट द प्राइस एंड अदर टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन ऑफ द परचेज आई येट टू बी फाइनलाइज एंड विल बी सब्जेक्ट टू नेगोशिएशन बिफोर द साइनिंग Residents in parts of India's northeastern Assam state were surrounded by flood waters on Wednesday as the Brahmaputra River and its distributaries have burst their banks inundating several villages and affected hundreds of thousands of people. At least 6 deaths have also been reported so far in the state. Locals in Barpeta district where relief camps and shelters have been set up said that the flooding has dampened the spirits of the upcoming Eid festival. Heavy monsoons are a yearly occurrence in Assam which result in flooding that forces residents to flee their homes often leaving behind their belongings. Eid ka samay mein to sir hamara to bahut asuvidha ho gaya tha hamara pani bahut ho gaya hamara ghar mein barki hai goro hai usliye to rasta bhi chup dub gaya hamara aadmi ko bahut dam tokleef kharab ho gaya. तो कहा से कैसे होगा तो ही तो पता इंडिया मॉनसून सीजन रेन सेट टू कवर द होल कंट्री बाय द वीकेंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द वेदर ऑफिस एज हेवी रेनफॉल इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू लैश द रीजन थ्रू आउट संडे क्राइसिस हिट पाकिस्तान इज इन टॉक्स विद द आई एम एफ फॉर अव टू पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर स्टैंड बाई अरेंजमेंट द डॉन न्यूज पेपर रिपोर्टेड ऑन वेंसडे विद द करेंट बेल आउट प्रोग्राम सेट टू एक्सपायर ऑन जून थर्टीएथ This comes after Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif met IMF chief Kristalina Georgieva in Paris last week. With time running out, Finance Minister Ishak Dar has said the two sides were working on a mechanism to ensure that Pakistan got the entire amount and not just the close to 1.1 billion dollars due under the current review. The South Asian nation is in dire need of external financing amid an acute balance of payments crisis. The staff of Karakoram University in Gilgit, Baltistan held a massive demonstration recently to demand payments of their dues which have been halted citing budgetary deficit. Lecturers and employees of Karakoram International University in Gilgit, Baltistan recently held a massive protest over non-payment of their dues citing severe budgetary deficit. The university authorities have announced they will only be able to pay partial salaries to the staff 
as they have not received funds from the Pakistan government. The staff, however, decried their problems have already compounded amid soaring inflation, and this is injustice. ये हुकुमरान हमारा सोच के नहीं है यहाँ पे जो बैठे हुए जो हमारे वाइस चांसलर साहब को भी सोचना चाहिए और दीगर अफसरान को भी अगर यूनिवर्सिटी डिफाइनर हो रही है इनको पता है तो ये अपना गाड़िया भी खड़ा क्यों नहीं करती है अपना गाड़िया इनको खड़ा करना चाहिए और यूनिवर्सिटी के दूसरे दीगर मामला जो है उनको क्लोज करना चाहिए और टी डी मत में मुख्तलि मदों में ये लोग पैसे खाते हैं और बाकायदा है वो चाह रहे हैं इस वक्त तक हम हमारे साथ किसी ने कॉन्टेक्ट भी नहीं किया जी भी गवर्नमेंट ने भी नहीं किया या फेडरल गवर्नमेंट से भी कहीं सुनवाई नहीं है This is not the first time government workers in the occupied region have to often hit the streets to demand even their basic rights which they say meet a bureaucratic blockade at the behest of Islamabad Sri Lanka anticipates restructuring 17 billion US dollars out of a total 41.5 billion of foreign debt within a 5 year term President Ranil Wickremesinghe said on Tuesday He also assured that the restructuring of domestic debt will have no impact on Lankan banking systems or public funds The president calling the debt restructuring as top priority has claimed if such measures are not taken by the government the public debt would exceed 100% of the gdp by 2035 the island nation which defaulted on its foreign debt for the first time in may last year has set a goal of finalizing debt restructuring talks by september to align with the first review of its imf program Nepal's Supreme Court on Tuesday ordered the federal government to include victims of torture and sexual violence of insurgency era in their interim relief program. The decision came after victims of the violence challenged the procedure of relief distribution, calling it discriminatory, the Kathmandu Post reported. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in its report had said at least 2500 incidents of torture happened during the decade-long insurgency. It highlighted the violence as means was used by both the security forces and the Maoist rebels. Following the peace accord, the government had brought out various relief packages for conflict victims, but torture and sexual violence victims were left out. Thousands of people hopped on ferries and trains in Dhaka on Tuesday to celebrate Eid al-Adha away from the Bangladeshi capital with their families. People crowded at piers, trains and bus stations to leave the city, sometimes braving occasional downpours. Eid al-Adha is one of Islam's two main holidays and marks the annual Hajj pilgrimage. On the occasion, Muslims sacrifice livestock to commemorate the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son on God's command. The meat is then shared among family and friends and donated to the poor. The Muslim community living in the Indian subcontinent will celebrate the festival on Thursday. ঠিক হয় না তারপরে আমরা যাইতে হয় এক বছর পর ঈদ আসে আনন্দের জন্য যাচ্ছি কষ্ট ক্লাস হইলো যাইতে হবে তো অবশ্যই ঠিক না তারপরে ঈদের আনন্দ ঈদের আনন্দ উপভোগ করার জন্য ফ্যামিলির সাথে থাকার জন্য অবশ্যই নিতে হয় এই That's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.